Hi, I'm Lillian from Finally Focus Films. Today I'm interviewing one of the members from Mom D Prodigy. So, so, I'm So, I know um, you've been in the business for a long time, from the 90s. So, how's it going? Yeah, it's going to go good, you know? Independent right now, I got a couple of more infamous. So, you know, got distribution for Sony, so I'm just doing my independent thing, keeping the music alive, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Keeping it going, like I said, keep the legacy. How's the music different from the 90s and now 2012? I mean, you know, we've been in the game since like, we were early back, so we've seen a lot of trains, this is rap music, we've seen it go through a lot of trains different changes and stuff like that. So it's just another day for us. We beg you for this to the Always new trends pop up, new styles, fashion, and all types of shit. Like, there's all of them, everything. Like I said, it's just another day. Okay, so you don't think there is a difference in the rap business, right, from the 90s to now? Like, you think you're gonna bring the old prodigy from the 90s to the 2012? Nah, that never happened. You know, we just keep moving. You know, so you can't go back. You want to go forward. The old prodigy was 16, 17 years old. He just came. I ain't that. I ain't young no more. You know, so I'm a grown man now. So, you know, we just, just progressively move forward, and you know, just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all I can do. Is have fun with it. Do what I do. Okay, so the fans, what should they should expect now from you? Um, just more, you know, solo albums, we're about to drop a lot of solo albums, me and Alphabet's working on some collaborations. I got artists I'm about to start dropping on the label. I got um, other businesses that I'm into also. I got a foot footwear company with Super. You know, I'm doing footwear with them. We got Snoopy's and Boots coming out. 2012, or 2013. And just different things like that, you know what I mean? In, in the whole skateboard world, the sneaker world, the music, movies, books. A lot, a lot of books I'm about to start dropping. Okay. Well, being that you're talking about the books, um, I know you had written a book mm -hmm. about your team and everything that has to be So, what's that about? Um, basically, the book is about my life. It's an autobiography. It's called My Instruments Life. The autobiography of all these prodigy. I put it out when I first came home, and uh, it's been pretty good. You know, it's going real good out there. I got an audio version available on iTunes. You know, for the lazy people that want to read or they don't have time for reading, they can listen to it while they're working out and drag it in their car. Yeah, man, I mean, the book thing is a good thing, you know what I mean? It took us on the number of fat I talked to a lot of college kids, young kids, and some trying to change the health, young people sick of cell, you know, out there sick of cell. So I talked to a lot of young kids and sick of cell about diet and lifestyle and health and stuff like that. So the book, the book opened up a lot of doors for that type of stuff, you know what I mean? Speaking of gay things and, and really getting out there on an intellectual level, you know what I'm saying? I'll just uh, put infamous and the whole brand on another level, you know what I mean? So it was a good idea. Okay, but the book, you went into a lot of details in the book. Me, as a reader, I don't understand what you mean by I read it and I, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what made you write this book? You had exposed a lot of your friends to a lot of things. Are like, is this like church wise? Are you repenting? Like, what made you write all the information you have provided that you want? Uh, I mean, it was just my life story, you know what I'm saying? What I've been through in my life, you know what I mean? And, and the people that are around me, you know what I mean? A lot of the stories I put into the book, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to put that in there that's going to incriminate everybody, you know what I mean? So ain't nothing like that in there. Like that. But I definitely, if somebody was close around me and living my life with me, like experiencing the same experience with me, then yeah, I'll probably talk to about it in the book. Like, yeah, I was with this person that night, such and such, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of um, negative feedback comes from the book from people that feel a certain way. I might expose snitches. Right. I might expose certain people like that. Right. And they feel like a type of way about it because they feel like, you know, they being looked at as a snitch in there. So that's, that's the only negative, negative feedback that I got from the book. So you know how I mean? you feel about it? Like, 
You're okay with it? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You're supposed to, supposed to sleep. Okay. You're supposed to do that. Where I'm from, you're supposed to do that. But you're from what, LA? From I'm from Long Island, from Queens. Right. Detroit, Bronx, all over here. Okay, so um, it was one more question I wanted to ask you regarding the book. Do you think this is the reason why your your partner and mom to you started tweeting what you did? Oh, I'm not talking about it.